Hello, this is Steam Malone with Comps Effects. Hope you're doing well today and you're getting some good trades. Today I want to take a quick look at the pound dollar because of the movement it's done. And there's two key components in the pound dollar's movement that could cause the market to get a little congested and not make so much movement. Some analysts are looking for an extension higher above 159, while others are looking for a potential level to be broken and a push back down to a range low seen around 56.50. So let's take a closer look at the pound dollar. At the start of the U.S. session this morning in my live active trade room, I had noted that the pound had been up to the 159 and been pushing back off of that. We also know that it showed a pattern. Actually, it showed a bullish flag type pattern. A bullish flag, kind of something like this, where you have the flagpole parallel line connecting the highs, parallel line connecting the lows, and the market kind of bouncing back and forth. This has a bullish bias, and we expect the market to run back up here to the top of the flag, back to 159. However, when it had the chance to break and push higher here, it faltered on the break and fell back down. And the longer we extend here, the less likely it's going to push up. Now, it's pretty easy to take a look at this, and you can see that we've had a range high of 159 and a range low here of 156.50, the midpoint being 157.75. Some market participants are looking for a slide back down to this, but it's holding here right above 158. And the question is, why is this holding right above the 158 level? We'll go out and take a look at a couple of key components. Going to another chart, I've laid out the 200 SMA and the 100 SMA. Right between these two is 158.01. And what the expectation is in the marketplace is possibly the 158 to hold. And we get a bounce off the 158 and possibly making a double top or an M type pattern. However, some are thinking that the market could push higher from the 159 to 158 level. We could possibly see if I run my fibs in reverse like I show in my active trade room. There's a possibility that if the market bounces off of 158 and pushes higher, then we expect a possibility of it running up to 159.25, 159.40, possibly even up to 159.60. Some market analysts are looking for that if 158 holds. Now that's a long way to go before we get there. My thinking is we need to see it break some of this level in here like the 158.50, 158.60 before pushing up to that level. Also noted was this long move down, the market baseline coming over. There is a possibility the market baseline just continues pushing on down. Again, the home base for the market baseline is right at the 50 level. But there's a chance that it breaks through the 50 and continues sliding on down from a sentiment perspective. But we have seen over the last couple of weeks that sentiment and price action don't always follow along with each other. There could be a chance that the price just comes in here and settles in this range. We've seen it do it before, right back over here. If we settle into this little range area right here between 57.75 and 58.01, then what's going to happen here is on the market baseline is going to come down about 50. The sentiment here in the current price action is going to come back towards 50, and we're going to reset, and we're going to look to see where the market goes from here. Now, we do have some additional news forthcoming and some other economic events like month end, when typically at month end we have a disconnect between the European Central Bank and the Bank of England as they exchange swaps between each other in the currencies. So with that, do we break down and break below 157.75 in a possible disconnect between the euro and the pound? Well, since the euro has made such a move to the upside and more and more folks are looking for a fall back over, as it looks like this European-Greek situation is not paying out as what some had expected, well, if the euro drops down, we have a disconnect between the euro and the pound as we usually have at month end then there's the likelihood that the pound holds this area and may push higher. Now, on the flip side, though, if we have continued weakness seen in some of the elements of the pound, like the BOE increasing their quantitative easing, if there's more talk of that, then we break through the 57.75, and I do expect it to possibly work its way back down to 
these previous levels seen and coming near to the 100 day SMA. Let's just go on and take a quick look at the higher time frame here. I'll go into the four hour and you can definitely see this up and down movement that we're getting, this uh, large range that we're in. I think from this perspective though, if you're looking at TradeNet, just be aware that this is an area of possible congestion. Could the market break through? Yes, the market could break through here, but just be prepared that we've seen an attempt earlier on where the market attempted to break and it pushed back up. Kind of a stop hunt before going lower. We've seen here that the market pushed through and fell back down into this little range area. And again, dropping, trying to drop through it back and forth, finally started dropping down and then as it pushed back up higher, coming back down. So this little area it doesn't seem like a whole lot here, but it just seems like this 158 to 157.75 is going to get people caught in possible stop hunt scenarios waiting on the market to do something. So just be aware that if you get in this area, the market's going to get a little jittery. Just be prepared that if the market breaks below, it might find itself trying to get down into this area here, 57.25, 57.30 area down because of these two lows here. A break below these lows, we push further down towards the bottom of the range. Well folks, those are my thoughts looking at the pound dollar going into uh, the Asian session and then into the European session. You notice here on the daily chart that we have a situation where the green line is coming down to the market baseline. See how this market baseline is just kind of running flat? That is a lot to be attributed to this up and down movement that we're getting in it. A break here we see a push down to the 100 day SMA. A bounce here, look for to push back up to that 200 SMA as some analysts look for a push back up towards 159 then on up to possibly 159.60 level. Well folks, this is Dean Malone with Compass X. Hope some of the information will help you in your trading. Just be aware of this little level here and the possible back and forth action as the market gets into this level. Y'all make it a great day. Get some good trades. We'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.